A very good day to you. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. It's Thursday, November 4th. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run. A city charter change that will allow the Newburgh City Council to remove any member of the board for just cause was approved on Tuesday by voters. Mayor Torrance Harvey says the measure was proposed as a protection for city residents. This, in in, in layman's terms, gives the city council, which includes the mayor, the authority to render consequences for, you know, anyone on the city council that has, has, as outlined and defined in the the proposed proposed, uh, legislation, uh, consequences for gro- what we determine and, and define as gross misconduct. While the council maintains the charter change was not aimed at any one specific council member, supporters of Councilman Omari Shakur say he's being targeted by this. Shakur has been censured by the council twice for his confrontational and vulgar outbursts aimed at the police. A 22-year-old Kingston man was sentenced by Ulster County Court Judge Brian Rounds to 10 years in state prison for possessing loaded firearms. Jacob Jackson pled guilty this summer to possessing loaded guns in December 2019 and May 2020 in cases investigated by Kingston City and state police. Judge Rounds encouraged Jackson to use this experience and opportunity to serve the community and discourage other youths from going down the same path that brought him before the court. The state has granted $40,000 for the Milton Lanning Park's accessible kayak launch. The project in the town of Marlboro encouraged local and regional recreational enjoyment of the river. More news in just a moment. Find over 100 retailers allowing you to spend hours shopping safely at the Galleria at Crystal Run. Enjoy the big brands and the diverse selection of family-owned stores all in one location. The Galleria at Crystal Run offers dining options for everyone with Fuji 110 Grill, Allen's Mediterranean Grill, and Peru Cuisine. Discover the Mid-Hudson Valley's premier shopping, dining, and entertainment destination, the Galleria at Crystal Run. For more information, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, or visit GalleriaCrystalRun.com. Governor Kathy Hochul has signed legislation sponsored by Senator Michelle Hinchy of Saugerties that establishes the Substance Use Disorder and Recovery Fund and authorizes gifts on personal income tax returns for substance use disorder education and recovery. Hinchy says the substance use disorder crisis has ravaged nearly every corner of the state, claiming the lives of loved ones and leaving families and communities devastated in the wake. She said everyone has a role to play in overcoming the overdose epidemic and ending the stigma that surrounds addiction. Hinchy's bill with Assemblyman John McDonald allows an income tax reduction for those who contribute to the Education and Recovery Fund. Work has been completed on a $23.6 million bridge replacement on Route 28 and a bridge over the Esopus Creek in Mount Tremper. The project used innovative and sustainable engineering practices to raise and replace the bridge and maintain traffic flow. The wider 800-foot bridge replaces the 336-foot bridge built in 1966 and includes a clearance five feet higher than the original bridge, reducing potential for flooding and minimizing the risk of bridge scour. The larger bridge opening allows for wildlife to cross safely under it, reducing wildlife vehicle collisions and protecting wildlife populations. Wider shoulders have been added for bicyclists. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run.